Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and today we are going to be working on a really fun and exciting project. We are going to be making soap. This is actually tallow. We're going to do 100% tallow soap. I like to purchase my beef in bulk. I usually buy a half a cow at a time. When you do that, you get the option of keeping the leaf fat, which is the fat around the kidneys, which is beautiful, clean fat. And you can render it down to tallow and tallow just means beef fat, just like lard would be pork fat. What I did is I went ahead and I pre-measured 30 ounces of tallow. I'm gonna cut this up and we're gonna get this melting in the microwave. I rendered this tallow about a year ago when it's been sitting in my freezer. And then I've got some calendula flowers here. These were flowers that I grew in my garden. I suffer from eczema on my hands and calendula is supposed to be really good for your eczema and so is tallow. I'm cutting this into smaller chunks so it will melt faster in the microwave. This is not necessarily a tutorial. This is just come hang out with me while I make soap because it's been years since I've done it. So I'm gonna let that microwave go for about two to three minutes. I'm gonna stir between. I don't want that fat to get really hot. I actually only want it about 100 degrees. So I'm gonna continue to check on it as it's in there. And I'm gonna leave down below the recipe so that if you wanna follow the recipe, you can too. And while that's going, let's move on to the next step. So I've already actually pre-weighed my lye, I have 4.2 ounces of lye here, and I pre-weighed my water, I have 12.16 ounces of water in here. When you make soap, you wanna make sure you're really following the directions exactly, because it's definitely a chemistry, and you wanna make sure you get the correct ratios of lye to fat to water, so that it turns into soap. I've got some safety equipment here, I'm gonna put some gloves on, I'm gonna put a mask on. Now I do have all the windows open in my house and I've got my back door open and my front door open because when I put the lye in the water, there's gonna be a chemical reaction and it's going to emit some vapors. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a mask on and then I'm gonna put some safety glasses on. I couldn't find my regular safety glasses, so sunglasses it is. This is what it's looking like after about five minutes. I'm gonna let the residual heat just melt the rest of that. Let's go ahead and pour our lye into our water. You always wanna pour the lye into the water, not the other way around. Can you guys see that vapor is coming from it? It's pretty strong. You can do this outside. This is gonna heat up pretty hot and we want it cooled down to about the same temperature as that soap. So it's gonna take about 15 minutes or so. You really do not wanna get this on your skin. It can burn you. Now we're gonna let that cool down and we're gonna go ahead and measure out our essential oils. I can take these off now. This is optional. I'm doing orange because I thought it would look pretty with the calendula flowers. Almost forgot to tear it. The recipe calls for one ounce of essential oils. I think I'm gonna start with half an ounce. The essential oils is optional, so it's okay if I adjust this. But a half an ounce seems like plenty to me because orange is a pretty strong scent. So we'll just try this and see how it goes. While we're waiting for the fat to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and line my mold. I don't have a special mold or anything. This is just my loaf pan that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna line it with a little bit of parchment paper. Perfect. It can seem intimidating when you start to make soap that you need all this special equipment. You really don't. The only thing you really have to have to make cold process soap is lye. I'm no expert at this, but when I used to make soap, I didn't even have a hand blender. I'm gonna show you how to use a hand blender and it's super easy and it does make it a lot easier, but you don't need that. I used to use my blender. I just wanna say that to encourage you that you don't have to go spend a ton of money to buy all this special soap equipment and special soap dyes and colorings and fragrances and molds and all these things to make soap. So this is the fun part. We're actually gonna make soap. I do have all my safety equipment back on. The process of making soap is when the lye reacts with the fat. It's called spawnification. And there's a chemical process that happens and the lye turns the fat into soap. So you wanna be very careful with this. So I have my immersion blender here. Like I said, you don't have to use an immersion blender, but this is definitely gonna make your life a lot easier. And we're just gonna blend this up until it's a smooth pudding-like consistency. It is starting to thicken up just a little bit, not quite to trace. Trace just means that it's at a pudding-like consistency. When you pick up the blender or spatula or whatever and it leaves kind of a trace behind, 
We are almost there. You can kind of see a light trace. Add the essential oil now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the calendula flowers. I'm gonna start with that much. I don't know how much to do. I think the recipe was right. It needed one full ounce, so I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball another half ounce. When in doubt, follow the recipe. <laughs> Now brand is my favorite essential oil brand. It's super affordable and it's 100% pure. I don't worry about buying any of the name brand essential oils or anything like that. I'm really happy with this. This whole bottle is like six bucks. That's the perfect consistency now. You can see that it's kind of like a really thin pudding or custard. And it's really pretty. It's a light orange color and the calendula flowers are really nice in there. I really like the red ones in there. I think it adds a nice touch. I've never added flowers or anything to soap making before. I think I might need two loaf pans, but we'll see how far this goes. You're supposed to cover it. I have a little bit of soap left, so we're gonna use this muffin tin as a mold. We are gonna let that soap sit for 24 hours and then we will be back to cut into those bars and see what they look like. Welcome back, friends. I was just testing my soap. It's been about 18 hours since I put them in the molds and I think they're good to come out of the molds now and to cut this bar. I was just taking out these little round ones. I'm really happy with how these turned out. They're super cute. I think I'm going to trim around the outside to clean up that edge just so you don't have that rough edge. But look at how you can see the calendula in there. It's just so pretty. So let's go ahead and unveil this. It smells fantastic. I think the one ounce of essential oils was important for this one. So this one does feel a little bit softer than this, obviously, because there's more to dry out in it. I'm just gonna eyeball the bar shape. It's really soft still. I love it. Look how beautiful that is. This soap has to sit for four to six weeks before we can use it because you, there's still the possibility that there could be a little bit of lye left in it, that the chemical reaction hasn't fully finished, and you want the soap bar to dry out. If you were to use it now, it would most of it would just go down the drain. I cannot be happy with how this turned out. My brain is like turning with all the possibilities. Let me know your guys' experience with soap making. I also want to try making goat milk soap. I think I'm going to start researching that and try to make that. And if I do make it, I'll bring you guys along. But if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, because I really am a novice. I've only made soap maybe five or six times in my life, and they were years ago. And doing this has just gotten me super excited about making soap again. I don't know why it took me so long to finally do this and now that I've done it I'm like ready to just keep doing it this is so fun I got two four six eight ten eleven I got eleven bars out of this this only cost me pennies to make because the tallow is from when I buy half a cow and that tallow would go to waste if I don't request that they throw it away and I don't have to pay extra for it it just gets tossed and so I've already paid for it so I want to try to use that resource and then the calendula I grew myself and the orange essential oil is pretty affordable. That's one of the most affordable ones. And I buy it from Now Brand, which is a very affordable essential oil company. If you wanna see me use this in four to six weeks, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Acre Homestead. I will do a test over there so we can see together how it suds up and how it works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see what else I have going on around the homestead, go ahead and subscribe. And if you wanna watch any of my other videos, some will pop up right here and you can do that. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.